What's up guys, so I'm back here with another video. I know it's been a long time since I posted a ride along video, but today is gonna be the day. It's gonna be a great day. Um, it is Sunday, it's 1 p.m. right now. I know it's a little bit later than I usually like to start, but on Sundays, uh, 1 p.m. is a pretty good time to start in my opinion. Um, so it's gonna be a great day. I haven't really been using DoorDash all that much, to be honest with you guys, because I've just been kind of upset with DoorDash. They're going downhill really fast, in my opinion. Lots of glitches, lots of stuff happening. Um, the other day I had that app turned off. I wasn't even signed on. I didn't even have a dash going. And I was just getting notifications all day long about, you missed a delivery, you missed a delivery, you missed a delivery. And I'm, I'm thinking in my head like, you gotta be better at this DoorDash. I mean, you're a, a tech company who doesn't even know how to do tech. I've heard a lot of people say that and it makes a lot of sense that they're a tech company who doesn't even know how to do tech. So I think it's pretty ridiculous. So um, I've been using just Grubhub and Uber Eats and still being able to make close to $200, if not more every day. And I'm gonna take you along for the ride today. It's gonna be a great Sunday ride along. Um, remember guys, if you like my video, smash that like, comment down below, subscribe for more, all that good stuff. And stay tuned to the very end to see the pay breakdown so you can see how much I made per hour and how much I made for the whole day. And I just want to say that I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. And uh, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. And if you like my content and you're not subscribed already, make sure you do it. Smash that like, you guys, and let's get started. All right, so here's the first delivery I got up for the day today. It's going to Veggie Grill, 4.7 miles for 11.76. It's a really great mile to pay ratio. And as you can see, Grubhub has updated their platform um, a while back to show you the mileage and I picked this up because it's such a great mile to pay ratio and like I always do I'm going to keep Uber Eats on and hopefully I'll pick up another Uber Eats I can take along with it. So I got my second order from Grubhub seems like right now Grubhub is where it's at. Um, Uber Eats hasn't gone off really. Uh, it's only gone off one time and it wasn't going to be going in the same direction so I couldn't take it. But you guys can see this order on Grubhub. I put the screenshot up on the screen for you. That I'm going down that direction of the restaurant anyway so that's why I went ahead and took it. And it's really close to the restaurant once I get there so that's the main reason why I took that delivery. So uh, that's the second delivery for Grubhub for me, and uh, let's go ahead and get it. All right, you guys, so I've been working for a little bit over an hour now, and it's okay. It's not the busiest. I've only really taken orders through Grubhub. So Uber Eats right now is not really, you know, busy. I haven't really been getting any orders on Uber Eats, to be honest, but that's okay. It's 2 o'clock. I'm sure it'll pick up in a little bit, but in the next... A uh, few minutes here. I'll give you guys an update on how much I've made when I work a few more hours But like I said, I just kind of want to stay away from DoorDash right now because they're super glitchy And I just don't like their platform right now at the moment I know a lot of you guys agree with me too. So let me know what you guys think about DoorDash down below But uh, I'll bring you guys back in just a little bit So I just want to take a quick second to remind you guys that uh, if you have both apps on and you're multi-apping two or three apps whatever however many apps you have on that if you get a delivery with one app that you decide to take and in the time that it takes you to get to the restaurant you get an even better order from another app if it's not DoorDash if it's Grubhub or Uber Eats you're okay to unassign them and you won't get in any kind of trouble for them unfortunately I don't have the screenshot up of the delivery that I took with Uber Eats but I, I got one with Grubhub and then I canceled that Grubhub one to pick up the Uber Eats one because it was a better deal so just a reminder for you guys out there to make sure that you're taking the best orders for the most amount of uh, mile to money ratio so you don't have to take every order that you accept you could always unassign it so friendly reminder and uh, just for you guys to have a less stressful day and have a better money making day So 
a little update for the day. I have been working for two and a half hours. Um, so I started work at one o'clock, or around a little bit after one o'clock, so around two hours. Um, I've made 47.60 and divided by two hours, that would be 23.80 an hour. So not the best mile per, or not the best money per hour ratio, but I mean, I'm sure it's gonna pick up here soon. Uh, it's a little bit slower, but it's okay. I'm not gonna stop until I get close to $200 or I make $200. Um, so just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update. Again, I'm not doing DoorDash right now because I don't feel like really working with DoorDash. Um, there's too many glitches and it's just like, each time I go on, it seems like more and more every time I go on, something goes wrong on there with the platform, so I decided not to do that. So anyways, I'll bring you guys back and we're gonna do some more deliveries. So I just wanna give you guys an update on that. So uh, let's keep the day moving. All right, so I picked up this delivery from Grubhub. Like I said, I've only really done two deliveries on Uber Eats so far. The rest have it been Grubhub, which is good. Either way, it's always good to have two platforms. So the screenshot here shows the delivery I just picked up from Grubhub. Not the best mile to money ratio by any means, but it's pretty slow right now. So I went ahead and picked it up. Gonna see if on my way there or while I'm waiting for it, if there is a wait, I'll pick up an Uber Eats to go along with it. But uh, other than that, I will bring you guys back when I get the delivery picked up and when I go to drop it off. Alright, so as I was on my way to drop off that last Grubhub delivery, like I always say in all my videos, I multi-app, so I keep the apps open that I'm using for the day. And I got another Uber Eats order on my way to drop off that Grubhub order, and I put the screenshot up here for you guys. You can see that mile to pay ratio is really good, uh, so I went ahead and took it. It's right in the restaurants right next to the drop-off location, so that's why I went ahead and picked it up. So uh, let's get back to it. All right, so I'm gonna put the screenshot up here of the customer's instructions. Um, this customer said, which is to me so random, and I don't understand why you don't have this code, but as you see in the instructions, it says, please wait for a car to go through so you can go through the gate. And it's like, why are you gonna order food if you don't have the, the gate code? Or why would you complete the order and not have the gate code ready? Makes no sense. I, I'm, I'm obviously gonna get there and contact them anyways if I can't get in. And I'm just gonna say I need the gate code because I think personally it's so ridiculous to order food from an app when you live in a gated neighborhood and you don't give the code to get in. Makes no sense at all. And they say, please wait for a car to come in. I mean, that's not our job is that we're not supposed to just, in my opinion, we're not supposed to just sit there and wait and not have any access to get in. You're not letting us complete the job fully. So if he doesn't want me to contact him, that's sorry about it, but I'm going to anyways. That's on him. That's not on me. What do you guys think about when the customers um, order food from the apps and they tell you that they don't have a code or they don't provide you with the code? I mean, honestly. I know it's first world problems and all that, but still, it's so annoying to me. So, as you guys can see from the screenshot here, I picked up another Grubhub order, and it is perfect because the Pyology is right next to the drop-off location where I have to drop off this order anyways. So, and it's a good mile to pay ratio, so it's really good. Um, I went ahead and took it, so that's how I multi-app. Remember guys, just be smart with your multi-apping. Um, have a plan, don't get greedy, don't take the ones that don't make sense, only take the ones that make sense where the restaurant's either at the drop-off location or the two restaurants are picking up together next to each other and they're dropping off next to each other. You get the idea. So uh, let's keep it going.
All right, you guys, so as you can see from the screenshot above, I just picked up a pretty interesting order on Grubhub. Um, 25.15 for 14.4 miles. I know it's really long distance, but it's still a decent mile to pay ratio. And it's only gonna take me roughly 30 minutes. Um, Cause by the time I get to the restaurant, the order's gonna be ready and it's gonna take me just uh, like 15 to 20 minutes to get to the customer's house. Cause I know where that is. Um, and you never know, there could be another tip on top of it. Sometimes with Grubhub orders, I get tipped on top of it. So that's good. Um, so yeah, the, I picked it up because I was already on my way to drop off the Uber Eats order I had in my car. And this order just seemed pretty good, so I picked it up. So let's go drop it off. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna take you through another update so you guys can see how my day's been going. Um, so far, I've worked five and a half hours. It is now 6.30. Um, I've made pretty much 120. Um, so 120. For five and a half hours is roughly $22 per hour. So not that great, not the best by any means. I've definitely had better days, I'll tell you that's for sure. But um, I still have at least another hour to go work, but I'm pretty far out of my zone where I really like to be working. Um, so we'll see what happens. I'm gonna drive back that way, see if I can get another couple of deliveries, keep my, um, get my miles to money up or my money per hour up see if i could uh make a little bit more but yeah so far not the best day but at least i'm still out here hustling i'm still grinding um smash that like you guys i really appreciate it every time you guys do it i love each and every one of you guys thank you so much for all all the support um and yeah so just try to get a few more deliveries and then we'll call it a day and i'll take you guys through the pay breakdown so you can see um, how much i made for total and how much i made for uh, per hour for the whole day and also I'm gonna be editing this video a little bit differently so if you guys like the edit please let me know in the comment section below I'm trying to make the videos a little bit shorter a little bit less me talking the whole time and a little bit more of like different edits and cool things like that so let me know if you guys like it down in the comment section below and uh, let's get back to it so I just want to mention one more thing because uh I know all the creators out there usually mention it when you're doing Uber Eats, but the totals I tell you are always going to be exactly correlating to the end of the day because with Uber Eats, we all know that you don't get your tips right away for whatever reason. And it tells you the estimated tip, which is pretty much 90% accurate for the most part. Sometimes it's different, but 90% of the time it's accurate. So what I'm trying to say is the total that I just told you is and per hour it's going to be different based on me getting all the tips put in a little bit later so it's not like it's not as bad as it seems is what i'm trying to say so i've probably made a little bit more per hour because some of the tips haven't came in because even since i told you guys the total just a second ago i already got another tip coming in so that's what reminded me to mention it to you guys so i uh, just wanted to remind you guys of that so there's gonna be more tips coming in from Uber Eats and I'm gonna be having a higher total and a higher per hour. So looking forward to that. And if you wanna see it, stay tuned to the end. All right, you guys. So like I said before, um, a few tips came in on Uber Eats, which made my total a little bit higher. So I made 130 today and I worked five and a half hours. So that means I made 23.60 an hour today. So that's all in all, not the best day especially on a Sunday there could be a lot more um, it could be a lot busier on, on another Sunday I don't know what's going on with today maybe people are out of town or something but anyways that's gonna do it for today thank you all so much for watching I had a great time making this video like I always do I really appreciate each and every one of you who get this far in my videos all you guys who watch my videos um, all my subscribers I really appreciate you so much um, remember guys smash that like comment down below subscribe for more all that good stuff and I'm going to be back to uploading at least once or twice a week I know I kind of haven't uploaded a regular video lately sorry about that you guys but I'm going to be getting back on the grind and hustling pretty hard so uh, stay tuned for that and uh, again thank you so much for watching